Suit up all you minties, this is the Uncanny Omar from Near Mint Condition, and today, today I get to announce two new Omnis from Marvel Comics coming out in February of 2022, so let's get started. This video is sponsored by Marvel Comics, so thank you so much to David Gabriel and the fine folks of Marvel for sending us advance notification of these two new Omnis coming out in February of 2022. Before I get started, like I always like to remind people, don't look at the comments if you don't want things spoiled for you. Uh, by all means, please share the video and let others know where you get your breaking news in the world of Marvel Collected Editions. So both of these make me really happy. It's um, By the way, it's for the same character, two different lines. And it makes me happy because so many people have messaged me over the last couple of years asking if, has Marvel forgotten about this character? Uh, what's going on? They still need to wrap up. You know, one more omnibus would wrap this uh, part of the character up. So... I, I've always been like, you know, be patient. Maybe you'll come um, here in the next year or so. So I'm glad that um, this character is getting some love again. So uh, it is my pleasure to announce both of these books. But the very first one I'm going to be talking about coming out in February of 2022, Doctor Strange by Jason Aaron Omnibus. So the complete line of Jason Aaron's 2015 series is now being collected in omnibus format. I'll put the content down here, but first let's take a look at the standard edition cover. So we are looking at the standard edition cover by Chris Bacalo, and this is also the cover to issue number one. I love the fact that he's wielding an ax. Why does Doctor Strange need an ax? Who cares? That's awesome. And let's take a look at the content. So the content is Doctor Strange, all 20 issues of that series, including the annual and the one-shot Doctor Strange Last Days of Magic. So this gives me a lot of hope for th this series because after this, I think it was uh, Dennis Hopeless that eventually took over, then Donny Cates, who has an oversized hardcover, and then Mark Waid. I would love to see all that stuff collected in oversized format. So let's take a look at the direct market cover. So this direct market cover is drawn by Mike Perkins and it is the cover to The Last Days of Magic, so you may have seen it before. And what's really interesting to note is that this is yet another omnibus with Jason Aaron's name attached to it that is not a Thor omnibus, even though most of us know that will eventually come. But, you know, we've had Wolverine, we've had Wolverine in the X-Men, we've had his run on Ghost Rider collected in omnibus format, and now we add Doctor Strange, and uh, previously released in two oversized hardcovers, I believe uh, one of those is out of print. So now it's all in one. If you've waited for it, here it finally is. And speaking of Doctor Strange, we're not done with that. By the way, did anybody catch me doing, you know, anyway. I was going to start the video off with, by the eye of Agamotto, you know, all the things that he said. Anyway, but I decided against that for my, that was probably good on my part. So, coming out in February of 2022, wrapping up Doctor Strange, Sorcerer Supreme. Doctor Strange, Sorcerer Supreme, Omnibus Volume 3 to wrap up that series. That's right, we are finally getting that book out. Let's take a look at the standard edition cover. This standard edition cover here is drawn by Peter Gross, who was one of the artists during this era of Doctor Strange. So let's take a look at the content. So we have Doctor Strange, Sorcerer Supreme, issue 60 to 90, so that is the final issue. Uh, you have the annual number four, Strange Tales number one from 1994, Midnight Suns Unlimited number six, Doctor Strange, What Is It That Disturbs You, Stephen, uh, from 1997, that's the one shot, Untold Tales of Spider-Man, Strange Encounter, also the one shot that, that was pr uh, recently collected in the Untold Tales of Spider-Man Omnibus, and Doctor Strange, Sorcerer Supreme, Ashcan edition number one. So this is a pretty interesting era for Sorcerer Supreme because now we're going in, we're, we're hitting into the 90s. So he's part of the Midnight Suns. As a matter of fact, I think this kicks off with the Siege of Darkness uh, crossover event that crossed over with Ghost Rider, crossed over with the Night Stalkers, Darkhold, I think was there. But I think this just collects the Doctor Strange aspects of it or parts of it. And then... Um, you, so you have writers in here like David Quinn, you have uh, writers in here like J.M. DeMatteis, uh, Warren Ellis, Dan Abnett uh, steps in, uh, Todd DeZago, um, and then it becomes part of the Marvel Edge, and then there was like a crossover during that era, which is called the Over the Edge, I think. Now, let's take a look at the direct market cover. So this is the direct market cover by the phenomenal Mark Buckingham. And the interesting part about all of this, at least for me, 
is that we have a Doctor Strange cover by not only Chris Bacalo, but also this direct market cover here for Sorcerer Supreme Volume 3 by Mark Buckingham. And Mark Buckingham was at one time Chris Bacalo's inker. And I didn't realize how much I enjoyed his artwork until I saw his own pencils. And that that's really cool. Two of my favorite artists uh, drawing Doctor Strange. So speaking of artists, um, during this time, we have artwork here by, of course, Peter Gross, who did the uh, the standard edition cover. We have Mark Buckingham, and we also have Melvin Ruby doing some of the artwork in here. So this is a interesting time for Doctor Strange, and it's like I said, it all started in the '80s, like late '80s, 1988, and then wrapped up in 1996. So. We get to see Doctor Strange change, like even, well, you saw the cover, you saw his long hair, kind of went through a hipster period, still had the goatee, he grew that back towards the end of that run, and we see a lot of his uh, old foes come back, so I'm excited for this, because it finally wraps up the final volume that we need for that complete era, all of it to have in omnibus format. Now, we may not be done with Doctor Strange, so just stay tuned, you know, for further announcements, but don't forget to pre-order these books when they become available. Again, both of these will uh, be uh, coming out in February of 2022, so keep an eye on the solicitations. I go over them every month here. Once again, thank you so much to David Gabriel and the folks at Marvel for sending us advance notice of this, for sending us the artwork of the covers, and more importantly, everyone, please stay healthy, stay safe, and much love.